Okay, so now let's talk about asset inventory. Now, asset inventory is a tool that I use quite often. Now, asset inventory comes in handy, especially if I want to see if I've created some resources in some other projects in my organization by mistake. So if you are an administrator of an organization and if you're using GCP, then asset inventory is a tool that will be quite useful for you. So let's see how we can use your asset inventory. Now to do that, you can just search for your asset inventory. So you can find your asset inventory over here. Now another way of accessing your asset inventory is you can go to your hamburger menu. And here inside your IAM, so you can go to your IAM section. So inside your IAM, you can find your asset inventory. So this is your asset inventory. So let's open our asset inventory. Okay, so once you've opened your asset inventory, you can see an overview of all the resources that you have created within this particular project. Now that's one thing you need to remember. So this particular asset inventory is specific to this project. So you can see that most of my resources are within the US Central One region. So let's open this particular US Central One region. And here you can see that I've created my bucket. I've created a disk and instance. So I have a virtual machine within my particular US Central one. That's why you see multiple resources. I've also created a few cloud functions as well in my US Central one. And let's go back again. So let's go to the overview. And if you look at the other regions, you can see that most of these regions just have a VPC network. Now, because VPC network expands over multiple regions, so that's the reason why you see this uh, resources in multiple regions here. So again, it's just a VPC network that I've created. So that's the reason why you see this particular resource over here. And similarly, you can also go to the resource section and you can search for any particular resource that you've created. So what you can do is you can also search by asset type. So since I've created a cloud instance, I can see a com I should see a compute instance asset type over here as well. So let's click on view more. And let's search for a compute instance. So you can click on this compute instance and you can search for apply. And you can see that I have an instance one compute instance currently that is in a running state. Now, the important thing to remember here is that you can get a lot of information about this particular instance. So if you open this particular instance, you can not only get things like your asset type, in which particular project it belongs, the organization to which it belongs, but you can also get a change history, the full metadata of your particular instance as well, as well as the IAM policies that is associated with this particular instance. So let's look at the full metadata and let's see all the information that we can get over here. Now, in, now underneath the full metadata, you can get all relevant information about this particular instance. So if you scroll down, you can see all the service account and all the scopes related to that particular service account. You can also see the disk that is associated with this particular instance, the type of disk, the disk GB, and all other relevant information about this particular instance can be accessed to, through this particular metadata. And there is no IAM policy for an instance, so you can just leave this at, as it is. So another very important thing that you can get out of this is basically the change history. So let's suppose you want to see the change history in the configuration. Let's assume from, uh, let's say the 21st. So I had created this instance on the 21st and I deleted it after that. So currently the instance is uh, this, the latest instance. So let's see the difference between the one that I had created on the 21st and the 24th. Now both of these have the same name that is instance one. So if you scroll down, you can see all the differences between the instance that I had created then and the instance that, that is currently there. So the things that you can figure out is basically the creation date is different. So the creation date was 19th, the creation date was 23rd. And you can also see that the fingerprint, the start date, the ID, etc., are different. So also the IP address would also be different. So the IP address of the instance ones that I created on the 19th was this. And the IP address of our current instance is this. So this is a lot of information and you can use this, especially if you want to debug something. And also the scope of that particular instance as related to the current scope of our current instance is also shown here. So this is a lot of information and this particular information would come in handy as well. Now, another very important use case for this is, especially if I'm using my cloud function, and if I want to check whether all my cloud functions are secure. So 
let's go to a cloud function and you can see that i have currently four cloud function uh, sorry three cloud functions so let's remove this instance and let's check the cloud function now if i want to check whether my iam policy associated with function 2 is all right so let's click on this iam policy and you can see that this particular function has got all user so basically anybody can access this particular function so if i want to have a overview of all the function and if i want to check the policies related to these functions then this is a good way to check that now similarly you can get metadata information and all other relevant information for my function as well so you can see the the runtime for my function is node 14 and the timeout is 60 milliseconds so this is so this is a very good tool and this will certainly come in handy now apart from resources you can also check the iam policy and the next important task is the iam policy now here you can see all the service accounts as well as iam policies that are associated with my cloud function and other resources in my project so for example if i want to check the service account you can just click on this you can get all the service account that is that is related to this particular project now similarly if you want to check the iam policy associated with my bucket you can just click on this and here you can get all the roles and the principles that can access this particular resource so this is a very important tool that can come in handy now you can also download this as csv now this is now this particular asset inventory is only specific to this project now if i want to get an organizational view of my asset inventory all that i need to do is i need to click this and i need to select my particular organization so this is the organization let me click this and let's go back to our overview and now i can get access to all the resources and all the IAM policies and all the projects that I have in my organization. So if you keep going down, you can see that I have three projects. So if I want to check for any specific project, I can just select that particular project and I can get the relevant information for that particular project. So this is for this particular project that I have. And you can see that there are just 15 resources within this particular project. So and similarly if i click on this particular project you can see all the in, all the resources that are there in this particular project so this will give you an overview of all the resources in all the projects within my organization so i hope this was a useful section i will see you in the next